Hi everyone. I hope that you've had a chance to take a look at some of the videos that I've already posted here, the Start Here videos, because when you get familiar with those, uh, it's going to help you so much more with all the other videos that I'm going to post and all the other exercises that you're going to do, not only for Pilates, but for any kind of exercise or any kind of movement. So today, I want to focus on beginning to learn how to move our arms from underneath the shoulder blades. So many of us keep our tension up in here and when we're going to move our arms we tighten up on the top of our shoulders and along our neck and stuff and that just causes all kinds of problems, tension headaches and neck problems and upper back problems. So I think that it's helpful to begin to learn how to move our arms gently from underneath the shoulder blades. The other thing that uh, we're going to work on is feeling the closing of the ribs at the same time that you're sliding the shoulder blades down and moving the arm. We're also going to find out how far over your head your arm can go still keeping your ribs closed. And we're going to try this a few different ways. I'm going to show you a couple of things and then what I'd like to do is just do a few repetitions that you can do with me. There's a couple of ways that you can do this. Uh, I like to start out doing it lying on your back because then you can use, if, if it's the floor you're lying on or a bed or a table that you're lying on, you can use that surface to give you some information about what's going on in your body. For instance, when you start lifting your arm over your head, if you feel uh, for us women, the back of your bra line and your lower ribs beginning to lift up off the surface, then you know that you're not using the front of your ribs and closing your ribs and keeping your torso in um, position, neutral, and your spine in alignment. Then you can also take it uh, standing up or seated, and I'll show you a, a version of that as well. So, let me lie down. And we're going to use our breath with this also. You're going to take a breath in, contracting the pelvic floor, pulling up the pubic bone, and then as you exhale, you are going to pull your belly button back toward your spine and across from hip to hip. And that's when, on the exhale, you slide both shoulder blades down your back in a V, and so you're also reaching both arms in the direction of your feet. And then you take one arm, in this case the right arm. Think of lifting from underneath the arm and under the shoulder blade. Keep that shoulder blade reaching down, letting your arm float overhead. This is all while you're exhaling. And if you need to pause, take an inhale and then continue, that's fine. But then you see how far over your head your arm can go while still keeping your shoulder blade reaching down in the V and still closing your ribs. Because what we don't want is to get into here and see, I can get my hand, I don't know if you can see that, but everything's all lifted. And actually, I just kind of tweaked a little something when I did that. So the idea is closing the ribs, pointing the breastbone to the pubic bone, which allows you to close your ribs, and then to return, pardon me, once you get your arm as far as it's going to go, then you're going to stay there, inhale, start a fresh exhale, flattening your stomach muscles, sliding that shoulder blade down, and letting your arm float back down where it came from. So it's kind of going to look like this. I inhale, I Exhale, I slide both arms down, and I float the arm up. Now that takes me maybe two or three counts. Then I'm going to inhale, exhale, slide the shoulder blade down as the arm floats down. Also continue to close your ribs, noticing as the arm goes down, the further down it gets, the less you're going to have to work at keeping your ribs closed. The further up it gets, the more your chest is going to want to open up and spread out like that. 
So let's try it once more. Inhale. Exhale, flatten the tummy, slide both shoulders and arms down, and let the right arm float. Two, three, four. Pause. Inhale. And exhale, slide the shoulder blade down and float the arm down. Two, three, four, and five. Also, on the way down, notice how if you had any tension here while your arm was up, you can let that go the more you can, um, excuse me, connect down in here. So I'm going to do five in a row on the right arm and then five in a row on the left arm, and you can follow along with me, okay? Inhale, exhale. Slide the shoulder down and float the arm up, two, three, four, inhale, exhale, slide the shoulder down and float the arm down, two, three, four. Again, inhale, exhale, slide both arms down and float the right arm up, two, three, four, inhale, Exhale, slide the shoulder blade down and float the arm down, two, three, four, again. Inhale, exhale, slide the shoulder blade down and float the arm up, two, three, four. Inhale, exhale, slide the shoulder blade down and float the arm down, two, three, four. Let's only do one more on this side. Inhale. Exhale, slide the arm down and float, two, three, four. Inhale, exhale, slide the arm down and float, two, three, four. Now the left arm. Inhale, exhale, slide both shoulder blades down, reach both arms down and float the left arm up, two, three, four. Inhale. Exhale, slide the shoulder blade down and float the arm down. Two, three, four. Again. Inhale. Exhale, slide the shoulder blades down, reach the fingertips and float the arm. Two, three, four. Inhale. Exhale, slide the shoulder blade down and float the arm down. Two, three, four. Again. Inhale. Exhale, slide both shoulder blades in a V, reach both fingers down and float the left arm. Two, three, four. Inhale. Exhale, slide the shoulder blade down and float the arm down. Two, three, four. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale, slide the shoulder blades down and float the left arm up. Two, three, Four, check your ribs, are they staying closed? Inhale, exhale, slide the shoulder blade down and float the arm down, two, three, four. Last time, really pay attention to your ribs here. Inhale, exhale, slide the shoulder blades down and float the left arm up, two, three, four. As you inhale, try to expand into your back, inhale, Exhale, slide the shoulder blade down, close the ribs, and float the arm down, two, three, four. So that's doing it lying down. I would suggest when you do it for the first couple of times, sitting or standing upright, put your back up against a wall. So if you're seated, you're going to have the, like your tailbone is going to be against the wall. There will be a little bit of a space in your low back because we do have a curve there and we want to maintain that. But right about where your shoulder blades and the back of your shoulders are will be against the wall. Perhaps the back of your head will be against the wall, but if it's not, don't worry about it. Just keep reaching up with that magnet. 
So then you can use the wall also as your information about whether your ribs splay and you're arching your back. I'm going to do it twice on each arm so that you can see what it looks like this way. Take a breath in. Exhale, slide both shoulder blades down and then float the right arm up. Keep sliding that shoulder blade down. Keep the length in the neck. Take your arm only as high as you can go, maintaining this. Stay here. Inhale. Exhale. Slide the shoulder blade down, and that allows you to float the arm back down once more. Inhale. Exhale. Slide both shoulder blades down and float the right arm up, paying attention to keeping your ribs closed in the front. Inhale. Exhale, slide that shoulder blade down again and float the arm down, noticing to close your ribs on the way down. Twice on the left arm. Inhale. Exhale, slide both shoulder blades down. Slide the left shoulder blade down even more as you float the arm up and make sure that you keep the tension out of here. Inhale. As you exhale, slide the shoulder blade down again and float the arm down. Two, three, Four, last time. Inhale. Exhale. Slide the shoulder blades down. Reach the fingertips down and float the left arm up. Two, three, four. Stay there. Inhale. Exhale. Slide that shoulder blade down again and float the arm down. Two, three, four. Now I suggest that you try, even though I've stopped doing it. You can stop the video and try it a few more times on either arm so that you get a good sense of it. It's a great exercise. It's a great place to start before you start doing some things that require more strength with your upper body. Once again, if you've got any questions or if you have any comments, please leave them in the comments section. I want to hear from you. Enjoy. Thanks.